We are here with Ray for a quick two minute interview at lunch. So it seems that there have been some open complaints about trades this season. Some owners are not responding. What do you have to say to those owners who are openly complaining? Um, their complaints are being heard. Um, all teams should be following standard protocols of trading. It's pretty simple. You get an offer, you think about it, or you send a message, hey, I'm not sure what I want to do with this trade yet, but I got your offer. You take some time to think about it, then you either accept it or you counter it and say, hey, I'd rather not do X for Y. Uh, I'd rather give this up instead, you know, maybe with a little note. Or you hit the straight up reject and say, with a, also with a note saying something along the lines of, I'm not interested in this this time. I don't want that player. This offer sucks. I don't know. Anything. You suck. It could be anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But all right. the note is a note. Do you think all <laughs> owners are aware that there is a counter button? Well, That's a good question. they're to be fair about the counter button. We gotta be fair about it. Yeah. Um, it's not on the mobile app because Yahoo's mobile apps. What? Sucks. Yeah, you didn't know that? No, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, it's just the accept and reject. Come on. Sorry, go. So, um, but you can counter by this then a good proposing interview, another trade. We're learning things. Yeah, that's that's the plan interviews we learn. Well, I, this was an important point that Ray yeah. just made. Go ahead, make that point again. You you can hit reject mm -hmm. with the note. Yes. And then you can, in fact, go back to that team and then click on their players and propose a trade through the app there. Now, what about so the, the app does allow trading? Wow. That's, a good, that's good to know. That yes. is. Now, what about the teams that think that the trade automatically rejects itself after X amount of days? It does. Five days. Yes, does. I, I know that, but what do you have to say about those to those owners? Um, they just let it sit there and not it's, reject it or counter it. Or leave it for 10 days because I, I think we're at a point where we don't have owners who aren't checking their team for a 10 day span. Besides going on a cruise. Um, I checked it. You checked it on the cruise? Seven. Seven days. So. You checked it while you were on the cruise? No, but I checked it before and after. Okay, so it's so. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but outside of extenuating circumstances, I mean, teams obviously are checking so, on Other than a being outside basis. of the country, how many days do you think? A team should have to reject, counter, accept a trade. A day or two. <clears throat> Why do you think so many teams are afraid to trade? Is it they just need to? They feel they need to easily win the deal. Remember this one. This was a two-minute interview. But yeah. It's still only. Been well, no. Now it's a tutorial. So. Oh, okay. oh it's, it's not an interview anymore. No, we learn things. Okay, good. I don't. What's your question? Why do you think teams are afraid to trade? Um. I can't answer that because I don't speak for other owners. How many I trades have you made this year? Uh, three or four, I think. What would prevent you from trading? Um, another party who's not interested in trading. There have been some teams out there who have sent out some feelers. You know, what do you feel about player A, player B? And you respond to them saying, I'm interested. This is what I, you know, this is what I would offer, and then they respond with, "You don't have the pieces to get this player." <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> that's, that's the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that's absolutely absurd. <laughs> has, it, has that really happened? Come on, that hasn't. So wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Somebody has asked for a player. Offered a player. Somebody has. Sent the feeler. I'm confused. I'm confused. Sent the feeler. Would you be interested in player A? So let's do an example. Use my team. Are you interested in McCutcheon? I ask. And I say that. yes. And then I and tell this... you that you don't have the pieces. Yes. What do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? I mean, that's the most ridiculous that's thing. That's fantastic. That, that, that I can't that imagine. Can, I can't imagine that, that ever happens. done that. Mm. That okay. doesn't sound like a real scenario. I'll no, it sounds fake. It sounds fake. Made up. It has to be fake. There's no way that anybody would actually do that. Are you saying that this has happened? I mean, I've had, I've I've had heard. people... Are you, well, let's clarify. Now, I've had people come to me and say, I'm interested in player X. And I may say to them, hey, I don't think you have That's different. the pieces That's needed. different. This is, this, is them say, this is them coming teams. to you and saying, yes. teams. are you interested in my guy? And you say yes. And then they go, well, too fucking bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cisco, Cisco, take note. Um, I know you don't want to trade Mike Trout anytime soon. Or probably Goldschmidt. You probably should do that to like every team. Every team. Yeah. 
Gotcha. <laughs> all right. Well, I just well, I think a, a good question. I think I put, just learned something. We're gonna put today. Ray. We all learned something today. We're gonna put Ray on the spot here. Ray's best player, arguably, is either Scherzer or Frazier. Who do you think is your best player? My um, Scherzer is most okay. Guy, but... Would you trade Scherzer if you got the right offer? Of course. Okay. Trade anybody. So nobody's untradeable. Nobody's right? untradeable. Right. Okay. So I think that's just the point that I want to make, that nobody's untradeable. And there's always the right offer out there, and everybody should try to make their correct trade. I mean, fair point. Well, Will Harris may be untradeable. Would you trade Jake Arrieta for Will Harris? It's uh, an open question. I don't think so. Not sure? I don't think that fits my needs. Would you trade... Scherzer for Will Harris and maybe the prospect. That's probably closer. Okay. Makes sense. No. no. No? No. What would it take theoretically for somebody to get Scherzer from you? Well, I would have to replace Scherzer in some way now, obviously. So a pitcher. Yeah. A good so pitcher. A pitcher and then and a hitter. It would have to be a comparable hitter, yeah. So if Matt were to ask for Scherzer, do you have a chance? <laughs> I should have a chance. Probably some combination that could get it done. Really? Maybe. Yeah. Well, throw some names out there. Let's do this. Uh, no, I mean, we'll talk. Maybe we could make a trade right now. Live. All right. On the air. I'll Scherzer. give you. Two minutes. What was that? Two minutes. Oh, yeah. Rough track. Cisco. All right. Cisco's going to win this ten minutes ago. Minutes ago. So, hmm. We're going to ask one more question. I kind of just forgot now because we're talking about this. Oh, trade blocks. Some teams have not updated their trade block in a few weeks, and or, actually two or teams season. never. Yeah, put actually, a trade block I have up. a gripe with the trade block before we go any further. Well, let me just ask my question first. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to piggyback to you. I'll piggyback. Yeah. So, piggyback. so so people like to update their trade block with players they would like to get rid of, like all the five crappiest players on their team. Yes. But like then, trade block. but then they don't <laughs> update what they would like back in return. So yeah. I think that's a big problem. So you're you're yeah. kind of not telling a full story. Because you want to know. All right, I'm trading for these okay. players. Okay, I can I can speak to that. So there are there are four levels of columns, which are the players you are willing to move, which you can mark up to five. The positions you're willing to move, which are up to five. And then the positions that you would like back up to five, and the stats you would like back up to five. It's pretty straightforward. So, right. so when you when you are clicking, you know, terrible player A, terrible player B. Are you giving a tutorial right now? Yeah. Okay. Good. You can then you can then just look to the right just a little bit, and you could say, oh, I want, you know, I have terrible position A available, terrible position B. I'm looking for great position A, great position B, and I'm looking for all these stats. So I guess the point is fill out your trade block completely. And on the bottom, there's a note. You can put in what? Yeah, you I didn't even know I learned something today. Yeah, this is a very well. informative. Yeah, you this, can, this might be one of the best interviews. This is a terrible interview. Okay. But um, right. you, yeah, you can write a note. More, you can be more specific. That's hey, unbelievable. Hey, I, I have put these five awful players. Hey, on, I'm putting Trout on my trade block, but none of you have the pieces to get Trout. That is That's a, a great note. Movement. How many hours does it take to complete hours. the trade block? Because two teams haven't done it, so it must be a daunting task. It is daunting. Um, I think it's taken me, like when you decide, like, you know, let's say you have six guys you want to trade and, uh, or that you're interested in talking about or you want the league to know, even though, you know, at all times everybody should have all 23 available for trade. Um, but you're, you're doing the trade block and there's six guys you want to highlight and you can only pick five, right? So you take some time and you think about it. Which, which player is yeah, the shitty player? Am I going to go with player A or am I going to go with player B? Player um, B is way worse. Player so B it is. in times, I may, you know, I may take 15 seconds to think about that. Seconds um, we're talking, okay. You know, and then, after, so, you know, your usual time, so about, about 20 seconds to fill out the trade block, plus the additional 15 seconds when you're making that tough decision. So what about the note? 35. The note could take some time. Well, so we're under a minute. Typers. Slower type. We're talking under a minute, so there's no excuse to Somewhere not have a trade block or an updated seconds. trade block. Yeah. Uh, the slow okay. people may take 60 seconds. So I have what a you question have? for you now. What are the chances this actually gets uploaded? <sighs> Pretty lazy, so I'd, I'd say 45%. Very low chance. Do the two up owners up. update their trade block before you put this up? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good question. Well, I want to keep this under two minutes and it turn to nine minutes and 40 seconds. So. Oh, this is a Cisco class. No, he's as long as it's under 10, I think we'll be all right. Well, so. you're about to do 10. So maybe yes. you want to sign off. So, 
So I'm gonna go past ten minutes. Exactly. No, I think we'll be alright with ten.